Hi everyone, it's Leslie coming to you live on Wednesday, uh, March 28th. Uh, it is a beautiful day outside here in Mission Viejo, and so I thought I would um, come to you from outside like I always do because this is such a wonderful place to live um, where we can use and be out, uh, use the outdoors and be outside so much of the year. So, hi, Alec. Thanks for joining. Uh, Want to, as always, with our episodes of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love. Hi, Phil. Thanks for joining. Um, always. Uh, please share in the comments or write a comment if you have any questions. Of course, love all those likes and hearts. Um, if anything in particular that I say or, you know, something resonates with you or you like a point, or again, if you have um, a question or just a comment about anything that you're noticing in your particular area um, or just questions about real estate in general, um, you know, definitely write those in the comments and always um, as always I always like to start off um, our episode with just an explanation exactly of what love where you live give where you love means um, that means a lot to me um, I love where I live and as a result I like to give back to the community and I want you to love where you live and I want to give back to where you love where you live um, and so as part of my Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love program, I will donate $500 to the uh, school of your choice for any property I help you buy or sell. So um, again, want to make sure that you are happy and loving the community that you live in. Hi, Kim. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for joining. So why don't we get right into it? Um, since we're at the end of the month, let's kind of go into our housing report for Orange County and exactly how March is kind of wrapping up and how things, how we're moving in to um, April. So um, everyone, or not everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, but I have received a lot of phone calls and just in general talking to people, oh my gosh, rates are going up, ah, stop the panic, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Um, Want to let you know to take a deep breath. Um, yes, rates have increased since December. They've increased by about a half a percent, um, but we are still at historically low rates. So um, if you're a buyer, you are still in a wonderful position to get a great value for your, or at least get a great value for your loan. Um, to put things in perspective, um, I can give you some of the average interest rates in the past few decades. In 1981, the interest rate for a mortgage was 18%. Yes, you heard me correct. 18% for a first mortgage, which sounds insane, but I have actually heard from, um, I recall my in-laws telling me a story about when they moved back to Southern California from Texas and how I believe their interest rate was roughly um, 17% in about 1985. So rates were incredibly high then. Uh, they started dropping down in 1990, uh, where they got to about 10%. Hi, Alexis, thanks for joining. Then in 2000, they went down to 8%, and even in 2007, um, we got down to 6.5, and then of course, in the past few years, people have enjoyed rates as low as 3%, um, although now we are at 4.5%. Oh my gosh, that sounds so high. It's not really when you consider 18, 8, uh, 6.5. I can recall when my husband and I purchased our first home, I believe our rate was at about six, six and a half percent. So again, four and a half percent is relatively low um, when you compare six and a half to four and a half percent. Hi, Mike. Thanks for joining. So again, take a deep breath and don't panic because um, while rates are creeping up, they're not incredibly high. So everyone can breathe easy. You still have um, the ability to buy money for a very cheap rate. I guess that's the best way to kind of say it. Um, hi, T Tony. Thanks for joining. Uh, because in essence, obviously, that's what you're really doing when you are um, mortgaging a home. You are 
buying money and paying interest on it. So four and a half percent, um, especially in comparison to 18% is still really low. And of course, rates can always depend um, based on the lender, uh, based on so many different variables like your credit score, like how much you're gonna put down, um, if it's a jumbo loan versus a conforming loan. There are just so many variables that can fluctuate. Um, I got off the phone with a mortgage broker this morning who indicated that for a jumbo loan, he can still do about 3.75%. Of course, that's with a glowing credit score and you know a, a decent down payment, but it's still available. So, um, you know, keep all of that in mind. Uh, so, hi, Lisa. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, but having said all of that, there's one thing that we do know about interest rates. Um, and that while no mortgage lender would ever guarantee that uh, they know exactly how much rates are going to go up, uh, we're pretty certain that they're not going down. So if you are on the fence about buying and are thinking, ooh, well maybe rates will drop again, um, that's not in the cards, that's not in the plan. If, it, if they do drop for some reason, that would be a glitch somehow because analysts and lenders are all indicating that rates will stay flat and if at most probably they might go up another half percent. So you have to kind of weigh what is most important to you when you're purchasing a home. Um, if you want to create a bigger nest egg and a bigger down payment, um, you might, and you, which will take you longer, um, you might run the risk of having a little bit more, uh, a little higher of an interest rate. But again, that is all determined by you and what is the best fit for you. Um, I think it's always so important for home buyers to understand that you have to always do what's best for you and what you're comfortable with. Um, because if you attempt to plug your uh, square peg into a round hole, it's just not gonna fit. And you need to make sure that when purchasing your largest investment, that it's something that you're comfortable, that you can handle, and that enhances your life, not um, hinders your life. So again, as we're talking about rates going up, we want to talk about purchasing power because again, there is one important thing to keep in mind. Um, when, as rates go up, let's say hypothetically, you want, you're comfortable with your mortgage pay, payment being at a certain point. Let's take an arbitrary number like $2,500 a month. If your rate were to go from 4% to 5%, so that 1% increase will result in an 11% drop in what you can afford. Um, so, you know, when you're looking at a $700,000 home at a 4% rate, all of a sudden when you move up to a 5% rate, that and you wanna keep that $2,500 payment, that $700,000 home is no longer attainable or affordable to you. So those are just things to keep in mind. Hi, Annalisa, thanks for joining. Uh, but again, like I mentioned, only you can know when it is the right time to buy. Um, and again, your down payment, your credit score, the rate that you can secure, and the house that you love. Um, obviously, if you're looking for an investment property, it's totally different. But if you are looking for the home that you're gonna be living in on a day-to-day -day basis, a home that you want to live in for several years to come, um, again, you wanna make sure that you pick the right home and a place that you're gonna love. Um, and it is my job to make sure that all these factors and variables are working in your favor. Uh, so that you can be happy with the process and happy with the finished product and where you end up. Um, so again, um, as I indicated, rates are not going to be going down anymore. <laughs> Our economy is getting too good, which I know it seems like um, Things are never good enough because the news always talks about all bad things that are going on in the world, but our economy is actually pretty decent. Um, the reason that Fed rates went up was actually because the, the jobs report was positive. Um, so 
from now until the end of the year, you can look to rates either staying flat or increasing slightly. As I'd always like to mention, I am a realtor. I am not a mortgage lender. So if you want to have more detailed information about mortgages and the products that are available, I know several uh, lenders that and brokers that I can connect you with, or if there's someone you know that you can ask these questions to. I just wanna give you a broad and overall picture and understanding of how mortgage rates and interest rates, how that's going to impact you and what you're able to potentially purchase um, on the next property that you want to buy. So if you are a buyer that's on the fence right now and thinks that you should wait until September or October, I you know, highly recommend that you really analyze that only because right now we're moving into the high season where inventory is gonna be at its highest. Um, there is probably going to be a higher um, demand as well, but uh, we know that rates, again, are going to stay flat, at least stay flat, that they're not going to go down. So again, uh, you know, it's hedging your bets and it's rolling the dice. You know, are you going to hope and cross your fingers that rates um, stay flat? Or are you going to strike now when you know rates are at roughly four and a half percent and think, okay, you know what? I'm locking in. I'm going to find the house that I want. I have enough of a down payment. My credit score is good enough. I'm just going to do it now. Again, the decision's all up to you. So that's kind of just in general looking at um, kind of an interesting element that's going on in the market and an update in the market in general. In Orange County, hi Mike, thanks for joining. Um, in Orange County in general, inventory is the lowest it's been in the past four years. It's roughly about the same as it was at this point last year, but um, the average active list price in Orange County, can anyone take a guess at what they think the average active list price is in all of Orange County right now. So we are taking into account Mission Viejo, Fullerton, Cypress, um, Newport Beach, Newport Coast, Laguna Beach, Rancho Santa Margarita, Lake Forest, all of um, Orange County. What do you think the average active list price is? When I first saw this number, I will give you a hint. I thought it was um, rather staggering, um, but as I started thinking about it, I realized, hmm, I, I'm not as surprised as I initially was. So any guesses out there? Any guesses? I'll leave uh, another second to see if anyone has a guess as to what they think the average active list price is in Orange County. I feel like I should play the Jeopardy music right now for Final Jeopardy. Colleen, you think it's 895. I will say higher. Um, Mike, you say 985. I say higher. Hi, Robin. Thanks for joining. Alexis says over a million. You're getting warmer, Alexis. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Um, any other guesses? Any? Any? Okay. The average active list price in all of Orange County right now is one point. Eight million dollars. So Alexis, you were getting in there with 1.2 and Lisa with 1.2 as well. Hi Gina, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, 1.8 million dollars. Of course, you have areas like Corona Del Mar that their average list price is 4.2 million. Um, so those are the ones that are making the average that much higher, but that also makes beautiful Mission Viejo looked like a total bargain when the average list price is $797,000. So you can live a wonderful lifestyle and, um, and have uh, an affordable house, relatively speaking, to Orange County. Um, again, in looking at the rest of the country, uh, $797,000 would potentially buy you a mansion um, in places like Texas and other places in middle America, but we live in Southern California where it's sunny most days and um, we're close to the beach and you know just have beautiful weather, beautiful amenities and wonderful things around us. 
So that was something that really stood out to me with the market because I thought, oh my gosh, are you kidding? 1.8 million. But again, when you look at areas like Corona Del Mar and Newport Coast that are really skewing it high, um, that's where 1.8 seems average. Um, so pulling all this information together, um, again, talking about interest rates as well as um, uh, interest rates and buyers either choosing to buy uh, now or to wait and thinking of sellers too from their perspective because hello, we need sellers in order for buyers to have properties to buy. Um, sellers right now can still get a really great return on their investment and buyers can still borrow money for a very inexpensive rate. And you know, if you want to buy, take advantage of the low interest rates now while you can lock in that great 30 year rate and, um, and watch your investment grow. So um, any other questions that anyone has about the Orange County uh, market report? Anyone? Anyone? Um, I want to thank you as always for watching. I want to also let you know that you can always contact us or message us or comment below with any questions you have about anything that we've discussed today. Of course, if you want more detailed information about the April Orange County Housing Report, you can definitely email us about that. Um, and certainly head over to our blog on our website, which is at www.theswanteamoc.com, uh, where you can find all the information that I've discussed today um, and also request the full report. You can also go to our Facebook page and be sure to look on the left-hand column uh, for our email sign-up forms, which are on the sidebar, as I mentioned. You can tell us how often you'd like to receive um, information and what you want to see. So there are three things that you can sign up for. You can sign up for the o, uh, excuse me, I was going to say OC and Orange at the same time the Orange County Housing Report, uh, which is a full report including um, downloadable charts, if you like to look at downloadable charts. Um, then we also have an option of our monthly newsletter, which will include kind of a data wrap up of all the information that we have shared throughout the month, um, as well as a homeowner's guide. Uh, and then you can also sign up for our weekly blog, uh, which provides the weekly resources that we provide delivered in real time so that when that blog post goes live, you can be the first one to know about what we're going to be discussing um, on our Wednesday Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love episode so you could keep me on my toes if you want to. Um, so again, would love for you to subscribe and of course always share with your friends and family that uh, we would love to help anyone buy, sell, or lease and certainly find uh, a home that they love to live in. And of course, as always, um, we will always donate $500 to the school uh, of your choice for any property we help you buy or sell. So if there aren't any other questions, I want to thank everyone so much for joining me today. And as always, remember to love where you live and give where you love. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Well, it's only Wednesday, so have a great Thursday, Friday, and a weekend. Bye-bye.